All right, we're going to be tying a six part, five bite Turk's head with a gaucho interweave. That is a common little slider button, which you'll see here. Will hold its own shape, it can be tightened down, it can be left loose and slide on the lead as well. Um, you can make them ahead of time, keep them in a bowl, and just pull them out as you need them. Um, and we'll talk about where to bury the ends and how to go ahead and braid that. So I like to use the uh, foam rod packer uh, 10 pins because it's a five bite. We're going to have five bites on both ends. I'll need 10 pins to help get smooth turns. And I like to use one of these little uh, grooming bands to hold the free end. 33 inches of lace to tie this easily. And if you'll start by going under the grooming band, leave yourself enough tail to bury the end afterwards, okay? Just leave that hanging. And step one is going to be to go around over one. Just making a little X there. This is where you're going to stop and put in pins. So I'm going to just tack that right there temporarily. That will get moved later. And then tack to the right of this. Give yourself about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, an inch. So you got a round over one. Then we're going to turn. and go under one. At that point, put in your pin. And just put your pin in even. So, not looking at the lace here, we're looking at this pin. And let's go even with that one. So, as you can see here, we've got two that are kind of lined up a little bit. So we're going to turn and go under one. All right, there's our under one. Now we're going over one and we're about to turn, so we're going to grab a pin. I know we're staying in line with this bottom ledge now. So just put it right there in line where you crossed over. So it's over one, turn, over one, and under one. We're going to get a little quicker now. Put in the pin. Turn over one and under one. There's my over, and there's my under. So going over one, turn and under one. This is where we're going to follow the left. So we're going over one turn
and under one. And in my short notes, which I'll leave, will explain that we are now following the left string. So here's the left, it's actually the standing string. And it goes under there, we're going under there as well. So that's what it's meant by following the string to the left. Next, it's over one, under one. Over, under. Turn and under one. So here's the turn around the pin I just put in. And under, we're no longer following. That's over, we're going under. Over one, under one. Turn it over and under. Over two in the turn and under one. So over two in the turn, let's look at that. That means basically nothing's gonna be holding this end which is actually the bite so we're making a bite we're going to go over two in the turn and then under one but since there's going to be nothing there to hold it we definitely want that pin and rather than sticking it right there i like it over here in the middle so you can see what we're doing over two so we just went over two in the turn and under one okay over two in the turn and under one and i tend to put my thumb where i am because i still look at my notes to do this every time so then it's over one under one over one under one right here all right it's turn over one and under one all right here's where i'm going to move this that first pin i was telling you we're going to move later i'm actually going to move it down a little bit Give myself the correct spacing here. Put in the pin for this bite. And do my turn over one, under one. So we got turn over one, under one. Over one, under one. This actually ends the Turk's hair. Over one, under one. To properly end the Turk's head, let's say you were going to use the Turk's head at the end of a bead setting as a little decorative knot. To properly end the Turk's head now, you come in right here to the right of your standing end and go through. And then when you tighten it down, this will get locked down in there. And this end would then come here to the right of this one and go over and under to get locked in. 
But that is actually the end of the Turk's head. And now I'm not going to end it here because I'm turning it into a gaucho. So for a gaucho, you would pull that end out, go over one, which is this ending here, end of that bite, over the standing end, turn and under one. So this begins the gaucho. Interlude. And the thing about the gaucho is they should be making squared off little tops. So I usually have some tweezers here and just kind of keep it a little squared up as we go. So that was uh, the beginning of the gaucho was the under one. And here we go, over one, under one. Over one, under two. Over one, under two. Turn over one, under one, fall is left. So I'm going to turn, go over one, under one, following the strand on the left, which is going under as well. And see how that's laying smooth? That's not what we want. We want that turned up top kind of a squared up turn. Over one, under two. Over one, under two. Over two, turn, and under one. So over two, turn, and under one. Now we're following the right. So we're kind of following this right strand. It goes under, we went under as well. Over one, under one. Over, under, right, and left. Over two, under two. One, two. One, two. Turn over one, under one, follow left. Turn over, under, following the left. Over two, under two. Over two, under two. Over two, turn and under one. Over two. Turn and under one. Over one, under two. So 
over one and root two. Over two and root two. Over two and root two. So here they are. Over two and root two. Turn over one and then root two. Over one and root two. Over two and root two. Over two and root two. Over two, turn under one and follow right. Over two, turn under one, follow on the right. I've got a baby playing over there. Over two, turn under one. Um, follow on right. Over two, under two. We're almost done now. Over two, under two. Over two, under two again. Over two. Under two. Turn over two, under two. So here's where you're gonna fix this little, I hate the way these two kind of lay on top of each other, but this actually splits it and fixes it. So over two. Under two. And then over two and under three to bury the end. So over two and under one, two, three, and Almost the last to bury the end. Now that buries this end. It means this one is secure now. When that tightens down, this end is fine to be just cut right there. Um, the other end, though, is not yet buried. And this is just where we started. So we're going to, I like to go ahead and put it where it belongs once it's tightened down and I do this by putting I'm going to move this pin so you can see it's another one of those two that's laying on top of each other and it's right to the right of this end we just had so there's where they're kind of like laying on top. So you're going over two. And then there's three. One, two, three. So just follow it. It goes just to the side of this one, over two, under three. And that buries this end and makes the last little wing around the top. Now once you take all these off, 
You see it's the same knot, which will hold form and can be tightened down to whatever uh, size you want to leave it. There you go.